I can't believe I got Reju. I'm so happy. Reju! Reju poison. Ping! Oh my Lanta. Oh my Lanta. That is like my favorite scene that you started. In the name of Cassandra, I banish Cassandra you Cage to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> gotta get my ads. Gotta get my revenue. Yeah, gotta make some money. I have to money. go through fourteen layers of ads. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> my Lanta. Please. Skip the ad? You mean <laughs> activate pop up? Skip the ad? Do you mean fourteen more? No, shake them black shorts. <laughs> Agreed. She's oh, here. Lord. I'll give this 8 out of 10. Miss Georges. She reminds me too much of Bella Porch. Smash <laughs> brother. Who? Right, this TikTok star <laughs> who's right. known for having these long ass pigtails. Work. Anyways. Anyway, 7 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Oh! 8 <laughs> because <laughs> it's red. <laughs> Who are you? Come on, Miss Deja Sky. Okay, I don't know if I like this. I hate it. Yeah. This is a three Two. out of ten. Ooh. It's a dos out of diez, bitch. Dos, por favor. Are you Latina? Because I am a Latina. The elder gods favor me. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Wait. What's that bitch's name? Latina Dupri. <laughs> no. Her name is Cornbread. The Snack Jate. Oh, and who's the one? It's June Jambalaya. Okay. Come on, Miss Jasmine Kennedy! Baby, I can do a ballad. I like her. Drag! This is an 8 out of 10. She said yes. I love the hair. It's giving me very pageant. Mm-hmm. This is a very, like, continental performance outfit. Like, oh, that sleeve is coming say. out. Right. Now George is being scared. Now George is already sniffing out the competition. She's, She's like, like, you can dance? I can you dance. You can dance? I'm going to stomp you out. Baby, I can do a ballad. <laughs> right. Fuck you. Oh, so, so you're going to do what now. everybody else does? Okay, Miss Jasmine Kennedy, come on. Come on, James Charles. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite. Right. We saw Miss Guy Fieri. Listen, Mandy Morphous said, just because of this reference, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. You know what? She did that. Mm -hmm. Listen, from all the straight men that we know... Oh, here we go. That can do this well, because that's it. Well, not some shake and go little, haha, I put on a little dirty nappy wig. Madea. Oh! What happened? You okay? What happened? She got a little church lady shoe on. Come on, Miss Nigeria Paris, my mom calls Dupree Casadine Monroe. Gyarados. It's fitted, she is sparkling down this runway. I'm giving you class and sass and ass. 10 out of 10. 110. One million out of 10. No, but for real. Mm. Not 8 out of 10. Yeah, I'll um, give it an 8 out of 10. It's fine. Okay. Oh, no, Miss Lady Camden. She missed the Spice Girls challenge in the UK <laughs> version. Miss Lady Camden, girl, 4 out of 10. All right. You couldn't beat Ver Christopher Sachi. I'm so sorry. No. <laughs> Ooh. Not, old Spice. Not Maddie with the reads. Maddie, 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> Read her. Darling, who is you? Okay. Oh no, Miss Diabetti. Girl, just because of this line, two out of ten. Right. Bruce, like, teach me a little number. <laughs> <laughs> because you know, from last week, I did a one, two step over here and let's sit down. <laughs> right. Okay, let's move on to the CNTs. Right. Ooh, I hate this. I like this blue and the and the I don't like the gold. Hair. Oh no, no to Michelle. No, <laughs> no, Michelle. I like you, Michelle. I like it. I like you, Rue. <laughs> okay, number one, we have Georgina. Oh no. Okay. Right. One, two. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. What do you give this shake, outfit? Shake that leg. Okay. I'm sorry. The crotch is giving me something. I'll weird. give it five out of ten. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, are you ready for my favorite, Majesma Kennedy? Come on. Oh, this bang. I loved it. This oh, is you lip sync. Walk, bitch. Walk. Oh. Oh, it's this. It's this little like. Oh, when you Ooh, do that little spin, spin you spin and twirl. Come on. Look, even Rue is smiling and Rue's doing like... a little wiggle. Oh, come on, bitch. Spin and split. I love Jasmine Kennedy. <laughs> Ready to have charge. Yeah, this is like a 9 out of 10 for Come me. on, 9 out of 10, bitch. This talent. Oh, not back split. Back jump into girl Tanya. 
girl. Come on, White Tanya. George is who? <laughs> right. Oh, Miss Diabetic up next. Oh, Miss Thing. Oh, no. Oh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sitting at a two. No! But anyway, come on, Lady Camden, bring it up. Oh. These. <laughs> Okay. Not these sad It's kids. just these high kicks. Listen, all I know is that Jasmine Kennedy ate all you. Oh, you girls. bitches up. All right, Miss Deja Sky. Teach us how to cheer. Rue, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Miss Deja, please. After Miss Jasmine Kennedy done Tanya flipped all throughout the stage. Right, and another person trying to do comedy. And you're doing... Get off the stage. Come on, Miss Straight. You better give it to us, Miss Maddie Morris. You Morphosis. better play us that gay guitar. Oh, look, she played with her mouth. Okay, but this is still a little boring. <laughs> <laughs> she took your advice and it's still a little boring. Come on. Yes! Miss Algeria! Miss Algeria! Miss Algeria! And Miss Rue, she is checking that up. Ooh. Come on, little twenty-seven piece. Oh, and you know, Kawa. Oh, Rue, you did the best shit with this song. No, I don't think you understand. I'm upset. Come on, Georges. Okay. Purple this rain. Is, this is literally the superior version to stupid toddler and tiara's right. dress. <laughs> You will not let that bitch breathe forever. No. <laughs> I love this I love the head, head piece. piece. Yeah, on, Patrick. exactly. Patrick Star. <laughs> Come on, oh, Jasmine oh. Kennedy. She, yes, pick that jaw up. She bitch. looks beautiful. Ooh, this come head. on. She said, I do what? Drag that part. This was conceptual. Okay. But I want you to look at her feet. Just in scientists have announced. I hate Miss Angeria Paris Van Michaels, she bitch. She said movement, texture, volume, color. Hello. She stays with these, like, senator hair. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Condoleezza Rice coming to drag. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Camden, please go home. Lady Camden, what is this? Chop. Right. We're chopping it's this. a chop, Cassandra. <laughs> Welcome back to Pageant Perfection, presented by the Crimson Monastery, covering RuPaul's Drag Race Season 14, Episode 2, the second grand opening of the CNTs, where the only thing where we're missing is you. Good job. Bitch. The cunt. <laughs> right. So, sister, how you feeling? We just watched the runways. Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Well, Play. Oh my God, let me tell you how some of these girls in the second team... They did not come to play. <laughs> we see two of you that I'm going to... We see two of you. Preaching and praising all of y'all. And but some of y'all just need to go home. Because, girl, what, what was that? What in the Lord? Oh, my lanta. So, let, let's do a little segment of... When you think of show, a signature show-stopping drag, what do you think about? I think of something that is definitely iconic and that'll speak very well to that individual's drag style. Like, right. to the nth degree. Like, this is, like, your signature drag. So, if you're a pageant girl, we want to see a nice gown. If you're, or, like, if you're, we want to see something that represents your archetype. Like, this is not the time to be pulling out raver and zipper outfits that it's, like, uh-uh, I don't, uh-uh. <laughs> Right, like you're gonna come out with the simple <laughs> instead of the elevated, like so, this is where you show out. Mm -hmm. So with that, let's get started. Category is sickening signature drag. Let's look at our first contestant to the stage today is Miss Georges, and she came out in this like what is this? Lav not lavender. This purple, it's like a purple, purple it's like gown that turned into a katsu reveal. And it was yep. done so smoothly above all else. It really was. Like, I, first of all, this reminds me of like a way better version of River Medway's little purple gown that she said was going to be her <laughs> finale look. I hate. Hate. 
You will not let this girl live. No. <laughs> this is so beautiful. It's stoned. And, like, the way she comes off, like, I love that she has a separate sleeve yes. away from the catsuit where it comes in that, like, top triangle mm -hmm. type shape around her bust. Like, it just looks so good. Mm -hmm. The color of the catsuit, even though it's hella white, I love yeah, it. Yeah, because she's really tan. Because I was going to say, I wish it was a little bit more beige, like, mm -hmm. more closer to her skin color. Because that way, then, like, the jewels will look like it's, like, wet and, like, part of her, maybe. Mm-hmm. But... I personally, yeah. I would give this one a 7 out of 10. Uh, you right. Because it's very cute, very positive, very clean. I liked her stomp down the runway. She really did. I also loved her in that, her little other thing. Her little... Uh, her number, her... Yep, she was like, I'm a dancer. Oh my I'm God. I'm going to dance. First of all, oh my God. You Latin queens, you're about to Latin scream. Because getting on my nerves with this. Are you Spanish? Because I'm Spanish. Did you know I'm Spanish? Oh, oh hey, Rue. Um, my name is Spanish Dupree. And I like <laughs> platanos. I'm not even playing that a second time. That was the most cringe I've ever seen ever. Like, oh, got it. Next personality trait, please. And next diva that we have, Miss Deja Sky. Okay. Miss Deja How Sky came out and we were both. We feeling? We were both conflicted. Because I liked it, but then I didn't like it. But then I liked it again because of the Patrick Star headpiece. I yeah, it. and the way that she moved. You know what it is? I wish the fishtail bottom was more voluminous. Mm -hmm. Like it had more volume to it. Mm -hmm. And then if she then transitioned the coat into a reveal where she takes it off completely, uh -huh. leaving maybe some little sleeve like pieces of the blue left over, then that would really be dramatic. But... Mm -hmm. It was kind of lost for me on the bottom because the voluminous got mixed up with the jacket, too. Did you like the lace? Uh, I actually really liked the lace because the color just looked really good on her skin. Like, it looked mm -hmm. rich, especially with this. First of all, it's the pattern I don't like. It reminds me of, say. like, do hippie you, pants. Do you mind the lace clashing with this pattern? Because I did, but then I'm like, mm. But if you look I at it as lace, it's kind of like... And it's going to seem a little cheap, but... It's kind of like the lace doesn't account to me as like a fabric in a way. It's just like an accent. And I think yes. that it's doing such a good job that I'm like, oh, Miss Daisy. Because it's not oh. such detailed, intricate old lady lace where it <laughs> looks that way. Like it just looks like, like a sheer fabric. Because mm -hmm. this pattern on the blue is really what's drawing most of the attention because I don't like that pattern. But I think that the lace definitely adds the effect to like tone it down. It gives it more of a wow factor to look at her body because she is really mm -hmm. cinched in this too. I... What are you going to give this? I'm going to give this a 7. Okay, that seems like a fair score. Because I was tipping on giving it an 8, but now I think like... <sighs> There's something there that's not... I feel like it's missing something. Yeah, so I'll give it a 7 too. You know, like, seven, like it's not bad. It's definitely it's not, not bad. It's not bad. Could be better. Mm, again, but this also kind of gives me a little bit of signature drag. Because I'm like, okay, I can kind of see what you were going for. So I didn't feel like she missed the mark. Right. But Miss Deja, we got our eyes on you. We got our eyeballs on Next you. Next up, we have a golden diva, Miss Jasmine Kennedy, which has been impressing me by far each and every step and every word that she has spoken. You don't love her, you don't even know her. <laughs> you don't even know that bitch. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I first only liked her bang, and now I just like her period. Why? We were like, girl, you win this little one bang that you got. But now I'm like, oh, Miss Jasmine. First of all. Miss Kennedy. The way she came out glittering. The way she outfit, came out and just like, she did this thing where she came out and she was looking like right here, three-fourths away. She was like, oh, applique to show them that i do what drag anyways like bitch presentation, presentation. that is i'm gonna give her a nine me fucking too because oh michelle you ate you came you show your reference and she's 22 I love what is, I love her outfit. This is insane. Like for me, Come when on. you girls are so young and have like such a high like level of certain drag Bitch. We see you. Hell, I don't even have much to say. This is just a nine. Yeah, this is just a nine. She was fabulous. Miss Jasmine Kennedy, please keep giving us excellent drag. Because next up we have the straight. No. Of the season. <laughs> we have Miss Maddie Morphosis. And she said, don't you dare play straight guitar. Maddie, don't you come out here in a flat no more. Maddie. I hate hate. Bad queen. I'm gonna fuck you up. Bitch. 
I know. This was such a terrible move for her. Like, she couldn't, especially because this, this was, was like a doll. And I'm going to tell look. you why. Because this was a nine for me, and now it's a five. Tsumami das zamas. Because, some shoes. bitch, I do not play with shoes. Especially these clunk and donks. Like on the main stage, because I already hate it when these bitches. Oh, because we're gonna get to that. One of these bitches did that too. When y'all wear these Ooh. combat boots. Oh. Why? Well, I'ma be fair. Oh. <laughs> because Go there ahead. were certain things that I still kind of felt were could have used more. Like I wish the dress had some more interest in like these different pants, especially instead of this like blue triangle. But the concept itself but, was no, so cute. The but... concept was amazing, which is why I'm giving it a way higher score than yes. the five. Ah, the cat Ghetto. But mm -hmm. I do a thousand percent agree on these flats because had she come out in these like you know those typical black dolly church shoes, lady shoes, yeah. church lady shoes. shoes, yeah, like that would have elevated this so much. But that those flats her killed nine. it. Uh, I'm gonna give this a seven. Miss mm, Maddie, you, you, you try it. You know you are putting in such a great effort compared to some of these other people. Why? I'm just have to be super strict because of my pageant upbringing. But bitch, you are so funny. Like I'm once you become. Like, uh, it becomes like a, like, I'm starting to see her personality. I'm saying, mm -hmm. I'm seeing metamorphosis. I'm not seeing the straight boy. Yes. Bitch, you funny. You are, you can, please keep doing this drag because Why? I, if you keep going this way and you keep reading them girls at the side of your neck. And come up in these nice ass <laughs> costumes and show right. these girls out. They're going to start stepping their game up. Finally. Right. So with that, we have, oh my God. The nine. The fucking <laughs> supreme score of the night. Which is Miss Angeria Paris Van, My Van Michael's Gary Dose Feebas Melodic Dupree. The second. Bitch, this is a 9.5 for me, bitch. I'm going to have to add a little bit of a more because she came out decadent in the best color with Congresswoman hair. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it was just so much going on in the dress. There was volume, mm -hmm. texture, there was shape in there. There was even like different color variation of the red, so it wasn't just lost within itself. Like mm -hmm. she just looked so regal. And she I think her character tries to be like that southern belle, but mm -hmm. she comes out so elegant and regal like so demure. Girl, this is a well deserved nine point five. Like, oh my god. In and the she, first in, in pageant history. history in pageant perfection history, because this was such a strong and then you came out with Amageria. 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 I was like, oh, she's taking notes. You won. You won. You won. Just you she, won. You your top three. <laughs> your top three. <laughs> Just go to the end. <laughs> like, ooh, that was such a good uh start for Miss Angeria. Oh, and then now for a <sighs> terrible one. No, ma'am. No, Miss Lady Camden. No. Lady Camden. What in the fuck was this? No. This was your signature jag? Jag. Jag. Right. This was terrible. <laughs> this was a jag. Okay, you this first. This Because you need to be nice to okay. her. Okay. No. What the fuck? <laughs> first of all, the, the whole, like, if, is this a swan, a pigeon, or a mm. peacock? Right, because I thought it was a pigeon. One, but the thing is, there's not enough tail feathers for this to look good. This just looks like a deranged yeah. snowflake. I it was first of all, and then the these shoe. holographic diapers. Did I read? Absolutely. <sighs> it's the it's the boots for me. You like chunk and dunk. I didn't like this. This was a two. A one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds fair. Okay, I will be fair. I will give this a two because I do like the color scheme, white and pink. I know you, I know, sister, don't sure. put the Naginatas down. Doddering old fool. Surprise. <laughs> Put the put the black phantasmal dragon demon attack down because I know that there's pink in this outfit. <laughs> this was just poo poo. Yeah, I didn't like. I it. felt like no. she was trying to like go to Coachella, but then like not. Mm. Girl, so this too? Yeah. All right. It's gonna have to stay that way. Lady Candy, next week, next week, okay? Hopefully. Pray, oh. pray for her. Right. And last up, I believe, is Miss Diabetti. I didn't like this too much. I felt like But didn't you like the concept? At least Because the concept, even if it was scary. like as like her signature drag as like someone who's a little bit not as elegant as, you know, Red Gyarados, for example. But right. But I still felt okay. like the dress fell short in its simplicity. Like she could have like elevated it just a little bit by like maybe some embellishments or jewelry so or something. So I have a question. Yeah. If this is signature show shopping drag, what do you think is signature about this? The laces. 
exactly. So like, what we're gonna get from this is, so you're the lace girl. You like shoelaces, anyway. A three. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the color combination, and I do. She her shape is together. The shape was great. I also love. It the sure big... did rip in the back though. It did. Yes. Like you I saw, it you saw it walking back. B- n- the cut was like here, off centered from the from the zipper. zipper. Yeah, mm. so it ripped. Oh sweetness, that's a two. <laughs> I was gonna give it a four. I'll give it a three. I'll give you a three because I like the hair. I like the. I will say this hair is becoming the new pastel ombre wig that all the drag queens had in season oh, nine. Colors, just regular colors. N- no, like this, like you know how the they have, like, they have, yeah, they have like noodles like enthralled, and they're like they're like sculpted hairs. Oh, like oh, I, I'm definitely gonna show you because I guarantee you, eighteen other bitches. Oh, That's Miss Got Make we wears a lot saw of them. A lot of this also in the UK season. Oh no, <laughs> oh, no I'm not here for it. I don't want to see any hair pieces made out of hair braids. No, oh my. Because we all know. Chiquita Bay. <laughs> right. Styrofoam covered in hair. No, ma'am. You got it. So, Miss Diabetti, next time, okay? So, who got voted? It off? was a close call because, Miss Jasmine Kennedy, you did drag. Oh. You showed us that you was doing drag, but. Nigeria. Shandy. came through and said is this crimson monastery well let me let you bitches have sister (laughs) a little piece let me tell you like even with the performances during the talent show because miss jasmine kennedy came out with a beautiful performance bitch jasmine but, that talent i would even argue jasmine's was right there with angiers and yeah. probably 0.5 higher because bitch you came out you did the little one two one two listen split. miss thing was doing backflips into splits and right. what made angiers more like fun was the fact that she came out in her theme song right the fact that she had time to make a song and like show her personality she did a little way reveal it's just it was very charming it was so charming that it took you like okay bitch this is gay and she made a song yeah like i will say though her reveal outfit wasn't really my fave compared to jasmine's um talent show outfit that is true that but we're judging true. wrong ways. I know. So, <laughs> either way, they listen. Those yeah. two, those are our top two. And this, right. team, this team also was stronger, I think, compared to the first one. Because so. now, if my top four, well, before we start that, so our winner for this week is Miss and Jerry Paris Mary Michaels. Hello. Right. Recognize. Please keep doing drag because you have a close runner up right here with Miss Jasmine Kennedy being like, "Hey, bitch, I do drag too. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't try, little girl. Little girl. <laughs> right." So, with that, let's fast forward to see who goes home. This is your fucking last chance or I will punch you in the throat. <laughs> That's oh, You better dance. Come on, Deja being a robot. Of love <laughs> with you. We're best friends. <laughs> what did you do? What did you do? <laughs> Don't reveal her lip syncing technique. It's not the titties out. Rue is not clapping. No. <laughs> You're hugging her in the blood. Girl, it was, um, unfortunately, Miss Diabetti went home. Oh, thank God. <laughs>